Well, good morning and thank you for joining our briefing today. North Carolina is now feeling the effects of a winter storm that will continue to move through the state today. As much as 8 to 12 inches of snow has fallen in some counties and significant icing is causing trouble in the central part of the state. Conditions vary across North Carolina and are dangerous in many areas. Utility companies are working to open up a short section of I-95 in Robinson County that's been closed because of a low-hanging, ice-covered power line. Currently, traffic is moving through a short detour. There have already been a number of wrecks on our roads, and we'll have some specifics about that in a minute. For today, the best way to avoid a car accident or getting stranded is to stay put. Fewer people on the road means fewer car crashes. Plus, it allows highway crew, crews and utility workers to get faster results. If you must travel, reduce your speed, increase your following distance, and be sure to clear all the snow and ice off your vehicle before traveling. As predicted, ice and wind has caused power outages. More than 41,000 homes and businesses were reported without power across the state as of 11.30 a.m., and that number, unfortunately, is likely to grow. Some counties have opened or are preparing to open shelters for people who are without power and heat. You can find a listing of open shelters at readync.gov. If your power does go out and you're trying to stay warm at home, Remember to keep generators outside and away from open windows or doors to prevent carbon monoxide poisoning. Never burn charcoal or use a gas grill indoors. And remember to only use 911 for a true emergency. Power outages should be reported to your utility company. We've all been getting ready for this storm for several days and a number of our state agency leaders are here with us today to brief on preparation and response. Joining me today are Transportation Secretary Eric Boyette, Public Safety Secretary Eddie Buffalo, Colonel Freddie Johnson, the commander of the North Carolina State Highway Patrol, Emergency Management Chief, Sta Chief of Staff Don Campbell, and Major General Todd Hunt of the North Carolina National Guard. Our American Sign Language Interpreter is Nicole Fox, and behind the scenes, Jackie and Jasmine Mativier are our Spanish language interpreters. First, we'll hear from Emergency Management Chief of Staff, Don Campbell. Don? Thank you, Governor, and good afternoon. The State Emergency Operations Center remains activated and we're monitoring conditions across the state. The state emergency response team stands ready to assist state and local partners as needs arise. There are 25 counties that have declared a state of emergency and 24 counties have opened their county emergency operation centers in support of the storm. We are receiving a variety of resource requests to support our local partners. Many are for high clearance vehicles and Humvees from the National Guard and requests from chainsaw crews to clear down trees. Those requests are coming in mainly from the counties in our west. Shelters and warming centers are opening to assist residents who have lost power. Currently, there are three shelters or warming centers open in Moore, Warren, and Iredell counties, and a few others are on standby throughout the state. If your power goes out, we remind you to report that directly to your electric utility provider. Please don't dial 911 and use that only for emergencies. And don't forget to call or to use readync.gov website for the latest information on power outages, shelters that are open, and more. That's readync.gov. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Next, we will hear from Department of Transportation Secretary Eric Boyette. Thank you, Governor. Travel is treacherous across much of our state. Many of the routes are covered with snow and ice in western and central North Carolina. If you do not need to be out on the roads today, please stay put. This will allow NCDOT crews, law enforcement, and our emergency responders to do their work. We have more than 1,600 NCDOT employees and contractor resources are out working around the clock to clear our roads across the state. We are utilizing over 1,700 trucks and graders. 
We are also ready with chainsaws and heavy equipment to cut and shove any downed trees. In the western North Carolina, crews worked overnight and are continuing to plow snow-covered roads, and crews in our central North Carolina areas, including Charlotte, have been salting trouble spots and roads and bridges since early this morning. Around the state, we have used more than 1,600 tons of salt and almost 200 tons of a mixture of salt and sand to de-ice our roads. Those numbers obviously are going to increase throughout the day and tomorrow. NCDOT is focused on clearing our interstates, then our primary and our secondary routes in that order. Travel is not recommended across much of North Carolina as we continue to do our work. If travel is necessary, please do not drive. The storm is also impacting eastern North Carolina with high rain and high winds. Due to the high winds, we have temporarily suspended our Soundside ferry routes to Ocracoke and the route to Southport. We've also scaled back our Cherry Branch ferry route. Heavy rain could lead to some of the flooding in eastern North Carolina, so please never drive through our flooded roads. Understand that like all industries, NCDOT staff and our contract resources have been impacted by COVID-19 and labor shortages. We may not be able to respond in your area as quickly as we have in the past, but please stay home and stay safe as our crews and contract resources are getting the roads opened as soon as possible. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Secretary Boyette. Now we'll hear from Colonel Freddie Johnson, the commander of the North Carolina Highway Patrol. Colonel Johnson. Thank you, Governor Cooper. And I want to start by saying thank you as well to the members in patrol communication centers across the state and members responding to help those in need. Your work is appreciated. The State Highway Patrol has, as expected, experienced an increase in call volume in affected areas, and we know this is just the beginning. Troopers have been working throughout the morning responding to collisions and other calls for service in the western and central portions of our state. As of this morning, we have responded to 460 calls for service and 200 collisions in affected areas, and those numbers continue to grow. If you must get out onto the roadways, please make sure you increase your following distance, monitor your speed, and be alert for downed trees and power lines in the roadway. Emergency responders are making every effort to respond to calls for service as fast as we can while keeping their safety in mind as well. If you encounter first responders, NCDOT crews, or any that are working along our roadways, please move over and reduce your speed. It could save a life. For up-to-date roadway conditions, please visit drivenc.gov, and please avoid calling 911 or Star HP unless it is an emergency. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Colonel Johnson. Please don't take unnecessary chances with this dangerous winter storm. Stay put and stay safe. Uh, I want you to know, too, that we are very grateful for the people out there who are working hard right now in the cold. Our law enforcement, our emergency responders, our utility crews, and our uh, Department of Transportation people who are working so hard. We're grateful for them and uh, we'll be back with any necessary updates. Thank you. <laughs>